All right, for those who don't know, our uh, local amateur radio club, Southeast Kansas Amateur Radio Club, has a coffee on Wednesdays. And I believe the very first time I went to a coffee, about a year and a half ago, the subject was the Guanella Ballon. And it comes up over and over and over again. LT Spice simulations fail, fail, fail for this Ballon. But, uh, they seem to be produced and they seem to work um, under a few tests, but we haven't done an exhaustive test. Well, hopefully this test will solve some of the uh, questions and some maybe even cause more confusion, but that's what happens. So right now I, I built this simple Guanella Ballon. This is a single core design and uh, RFN, 50 ohms. I've got a star ground point, at least an attempt at one. 220 ohm resistor that checks out about 210, pretty close. 1x probes. <clears throat> We've got a signal generator at 10 megahertz. And we have HP digital scope, 100 megahertz scope. And currently, at 10 megahertz, we are at 0.1 volts of division. 0.5 microseconds on the time scale and we have a nice balanced um, highly good signal integrity here but exactly what you would hope to see again that's at 10 megahertz so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change frequency we're going to go down in frequency now slowly That's the bottom of that range, that's 9 megahertz. Get this all the way up to the top here. Okay, that's 11 megahertz. And we're slowly going to come down. Now 6. We start to see some problems with the balance there. Around 4. And then things go completely out of whack around 2.5. But, for a wide range, from say, let's find the bottom. out there. So from 6 megahertz up to, let's keep going up, we're back at 10. And we start having some integrity problems again at about 34. So, balance, the balance does work. Um, I think part of the problem here is uh, I may not have the right turns ratio on here to get the uh, causes to work on the low end. Um, you can see as I, let me get this in range here. You can see here, this is 1.5 megahertz that the Ballon is not working. I believe this is a type 61 core. So with eight turns, I don't think we've got enough reactants to make the device work. Um, I may have to try it with more, but when you get well within its working range, we have no problem. Everything comes alive and everything looks nice get the scope back where it needs to go. So you can see there at 7 megahertz, it's working great. So, I do think the Guanella Ballon does work. My Ballon is not working uh, nearly as good as this uh, store-bought one. This thing balanced from well under the broadcast band all the way up to uh, about 23 megahertz, 24 megahertz, and it fell apart. But this was from a low band Carolina Wyndham antenna. So it's not a surprise that it didn't work up above 23 megahertz. Um, on this one, it seems to be working at higher frequencies, which would make sense. I may need to add some turns to it. So let me add some turns and see what happens. All right, I'm back here. Um, Rewound it. We've got 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We got 12 turns on each side, so 24 turns total. And we've got the same 220 ohm resistor, same ground point, and we've got a balanced signal. Right now we are at uh, 7.144, so adding turns did lower my threshold a little bit, but not, uh, not terribly. I mean, I get down below 6 and it sits, goes crazy again. I'm looking at 6 point, you know, that's 4.5. And then it just goes wild below that. So I suspect whatever core this is, and I don't know, I haven't measured the A sub L, that it's not good for low frequency. But on the other hand, get this down into the range where it can see something. Okay. Get it on the right range here. Okay, so on the other hand, we've got a fairly good balance there. That's at 9 megahertz. It did throw it off a little bit, adding the turns. But, I mean, that's 28 megahertz, and it's still fairly good. So, adding a few turns did help me uh, get the frequency a bit higher. And before the scope goes crazy here. Let me see if I can try and change the trigger level and get it back. There we go. That's 35 megahertz. And that is about as good as the scope will do. And it's, it's you can see there's a difference, but it's not terrible. Um, so it is definitely dependent on the, the core, the range of the, uh, or the number of turns and the frequency range you want to use. But the Guinella does appear to uh, provide some semblance of a balanced output. You know, it, uh, it's not perfect, and it, it's, but it does seem to be fairly wide band. I mean, I can get in here and get a pretty good balanced output. That's at 11 megahertz. I had a better one on the other turns ratio, so, you know, it, uh, it's highly dependent on frequency. But I've got a good one, and again, this ballon I put together in a few minutes. And right now I know there's some stray capacitance in here with the twisted pair and stuff that could be causing issues, but I think the twisted pair is actually the way to go. This is just the innards of Cat5. But uh, currently the, uh, the output is fairly well balanced, and it does work. It works better with the eight... Um, turns on each side ratio. I had a better looking balanced signal, but it's still pretty close. It's not bad at all. So that's so far. Everything with this ballon. Let me try this other, uh, well, I did try. I tried this other uh, Radio Works Carolina Wyndham ballon. I think it's Guinella designed and it's for the 160 meter Wyndham and it worked real nicely up to about 23 megahertz and then stopped. So it all is on the type of core you use and how it's wound. It's about all I got for now.